Hello my Shopify users, in this tutorial I am going to show you how you can apply parallax effect to dawn theme. For those of you who don't know what parallax effect is, it is this. As you scroll, you can see that image kinda stays there and the rest of the page kind of scrolls over it so i have this dawn theme here you can see this is usually how the default is so it scrolls with the page um on this page you'll notice i have these other animations if you're interested in all this other stuff please check out the links in my description i have a couple of other videos so in this video we are going to focus on how we can apply the parallax effect to this top banner um, one difference mainly bef between this dawn theme and this debut theme is that this image here is a background image while dawn theme this image is an html image tag so it is much easier to apply a parallax effect on this and on dawn theme it takes a little more work and that's the reason i did not apply to this banner the effect earlier so let's get into it how we can achieve this right click here doesn't matter which browser you're using i am using chrome so in here it will open up this dev console and click on this div that says banner media and when you select that open this and you will see this bunch of pots here so shopify has different sizes created for that image banner so what you're going to do is click on say 7 50 you see the 750 right click open a new tab you can see it opens this up go back and then click on say another version you see these are width so say 2000 and I will open that it opens up a bigger version of the image so I will tell you later where we are going to use these. So what I'm trying to get here is this path of these images. You could totally do this differently. You could just copy the paths from here, put them in a notepad file or something so you can use them later. It's up to you. So first thing very important that you would want to create a backup of your theme and I have already created a backup of the theme right here so you will just go here and then duplicate and then rename it to whatever you want I have already done that this is where I'm going to be working in so I am going to go in here and then you are going to go in the file image banner dot liquid which will be in your sections you will see image banner dot liquid in here go down to the line that says around here settings dot image is not equal to blank and in here what you will do is this part here where the image is you will first get rid of this it's all the way from here till this is the closing tag and we will get rid of that and then i am going to save it and then let's go take a look at the page And you'll see that it disappeared of course so that's what I was looking for now we go back and go into section 
dash image dash banner I have it open right here but this will be in your assets section dot image dot banner dot CSS so in here go all the way down and down here I am going to copy paste some code so this path here is the path that I got from one of those paths that we saved earlier so I have this 2000 width version which was this one bigger one so save and let's check out and there you go you can start to see some effects so right now you can see that the image kind of stays there as we're scrolling okay so this is good but there's still some things we need to do all right so if i start to drag this window oops from up down here and we start moving it this image looks good still the effect is there as we start to come down we're still okay right around here you see how the image isn't sitting right like the positioning is getting cut off so of course this is going to vary image to image but i am going to make some changes here so this looks better at smaller resolutions like mobile and tablets those type of screens so what i'm going to do is we go back to our code and i am going to add some of the styles here specific to certain screen sizes so i'm going to extract out some of this common area so this here can stay like that what i am going to do is like this now get rid of this and the position like this and i will explain this here later so we save let's go back so this was expected because if i go you can see this smaller screen is still good and the reason we're not seeing the image on the wider screen is because the code we wrote is this media screen right here media query it is gonna apply this only till 749 pixels after that it doesn't have anything for the image so it's not showing the image so next I am going to add another media query here and now I'm going to save this go back here refresh and you can see the image is back all right so now if we go all the way up and then down around 750 is where it started to kind of yes so you can see this is still good so I am dragging the image if you want to quickly um, check the resolutions you have on this dev tool just click this icon you can have this moved 
down in different positions like this and refresh this so you have this mobile view here and then you can change different screens here and sizes so I am going to get out of here and that's it this is looking good on all screen sizes now few little things about the code so here one thing you will see is this background position is different between these screen sizes so when you have the background attachment as fixed that's what that uh, background is doing is attached it throws up the positioning it goes relative to like the window and you have to adjust that so if your image is not looking good in this smaller view here a um, few things where you can adjust is you can play around in this dev tool inspect it brings up this dev tool right here I have it stacked to the right side so you're gonna click on this div for the banner media and in here you see this background position you see you can check uncheck and then on desktop this is center center which works fine here you can play around with these values so you will see if I just select this and on your keyboard do up arrow down arrow you can see them just changing so play around here to see what works out for your image same with that one if I do that that is in pixels so this way you can adjust what works better for you and then update that value in this code here also the path here you see there's a little difference at the end I am using a smaller width for the smaller screen size so this is the reason why I saved those URLs in the beginning for different images so you can also try different image sizes here to see which works out for you so that's it you have a parallax effect on your dawn theme now on all screen sizes and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel I will see you in the next video Thank you.